Hello and welcome to this demonstration for predictive AI operations. We're going to be following in the footsteps of an IT operations user in looking at issues that's being reported against a application service. Now we're going to be ingesting the likes of logs and events and metric data to be able to find any anomalies in the data that's being received and therefore being able to find out and do the root cause analysis against where the actual issue is whilst then being able to automate a resolution. We're going to start with the service operations dashboard where we can see a critical issue against the order status application service. We're going to have a look at the types of alerts that's being received and the two that I'm going to point out to you is the ones that we're going to be looking at today. The first one being a group of alerts. So a group of alerts that's been received, which is to do with the volume of logs from the Oracle database. Now this one has actually been received from the health log analytics application. So slightly different to your typical event management um, alerts, because that's similar to what you can see at the bottom here to do a disk usage. This one has actually been predicted an anomaly in the logs on an Oracle database. So therefore is warning you that, hey, I think I've found something and you may want to have a look into it. Now we'll go into the benefits of doing that, but you can see from the timing of these events that this first kind of predictive event happened at 1222, whereas the typical event management application where disk usage has gone above 95% was a whole 14 minutes later. So it's been able to catch these things quick. Now, if we have a look into this group of alerts, we'll delve a bit deeper in terms of the data that we're receiving back from Health Log Analytics. Now, the grouping of alerts is really useful because that means our IT operations users can concentrate on the things that's going to correlate all our, all our alerts together. So, for example, we've received multiple different alerts from the Health Log Analyzer, which has been able to collate these and find using um, machine learning and predictive intelligence that it's been able to correlate and cluster these together that we think this is all part of the same issue. Now if I go into our main alert here to do with the logs and the volume of logs, there's a few things that we can look at here. It's telling us that there's a spike in the total volume of logs. Already a very good indication of what's going on. We can also see in the anomalies that there's been a 358% increase of events. Now, if we dig a little bit deeper into the surrounding logs, we're able to determine what the actual issue may well be. So I'm going to do that using the log viewer. And that's going to give me, if I just refresh my screen here, that's going to give me the ability to delve a little bit deeper into the logs when that issue had actually occurred. So if I choose our particular query from that previous page in the last hour and search, this will come back with a whole host of logs which has been created. So it gives the IT operations user a chance to just dig into the actual logs that's been received to maybe understanding a bit about where the actual issue occurred. Now that's really, really useful because if I then switch back to the operations dashboard and bring our attention to the second alert, which has been received um, and is to do with the disk usage, what I'm going to do is go into our top alert in that alert group as well. And what we can see here, if we go to the metrics tab, is a lot more useful information again. So we can see, for example, the information that's being collected from the ITOM suite and the agent client collector from the server, seeing that the disk free percentage has gone right down, whereas the disk usage has gone right up. So that's really good information um, to be able to, you know, really dig deep into when this actually happened. If I go to the metric explorer, this gives us even more information that allows us to pinpoint where the issue was. Now, what's really useful with this, and you can see where these little um, icons here are showing where alerts have actually been created prior to the disk space going up. And this is what the power is behind the AI and the machine learning capabilities in being able to detect those anomalies before 
actual issues are being there to be seen by our customers. So it's very useful. Now, if I come back out of that particular alert, what's very useful is that we can see from the alerts in this particular group, if I just scroll over a touch, that these alerts can come from any place. This could come from a agent client collector. It can come from multiple different sources, such as uh, Dynatrace and performance logging um, software, Lightstep, maybe an observability platform. So we can receive these alerts and metric data to be able to create this kind of look and feel for us to understanding where these root causes are. Now, if I come back again to our service dashboard, the next thing I'm going to show you is if I go into our critical service and go to the service map. Now, our IT operations user has utilized the logs to understanding the addition and logs and what's actually going on. We've been able to look at the metric data to really pinpoint down to when this actually happened. What I'm going to go to next is start to have a look at the likes of the service map to understanding, you know, what's actually happened here. Is there anything on the configuration that's changed within its dependencies? So we'll have a look at that next. We'll just wait for that to load. There we go. I'm just going to change to the advanced map, which will give us a better look and feel here. So we can immediately see where our correlated alerts, so our grouped alerts, have affected our different um, servers or hosts here. And we can see that there was an issue here against the Oracle database. So that immediately gives you an idea of where the issue actually currently lies. Now, what's really useful here is the comparison um, functionality. So if I was to compare the changes, we can see where certain configuration has actually been updated, which is really useful. And in this case, it's specifying that a particular configuration file had been updated. Now, in this particular case, what's actually happened is that the SQL trace value has been set to true. Therefore, there's some additional logging. So that's the benefits and what you can see behind the lights of service mapping. But in addition to that, what we can also see is if we go back to that alert here, using machine learning again is ServiceNow has been able to detect possible root causes. So it's looked at the likes of change request records to see that maybe there's a similar CI or the same CI which has had a change to its configuration at a similar time than what we're seeing these alerts. In this case, that's absolutely what's happened. So if we go into this particular change, and this is a DevOps change in this particular case, so this gives us even more functionality in being able to see the exact config changes, um, what has happened during this change. So if I go to the config changes tab here, we can actually see from these little icons down here that the change was deployed at this particular time. And we can see right after an alert has been created. That may well give you enough of an indication that this could be down to this particular change that this issue has actually occurred. Now, what's really good as well is that we can see from the configuration down below what configuration um, had actually changed during this time period as well. So we can dig into the actual codes in terms of the different lines of code that's changed within the DevOps um, app uh, repository. Now, again, if I take you back to the alert and onto the likes of the playbook. Now, what we can do is obviously we've we've been able to determine, OK, yes, there's some additional logging going on. We know that there's a disk space issue occurring right now. We need to fix this as soon as we can. So I'm going to uh, mark this first step of our playbook complete in that, yes, we've determined the user and business impact utilizing the likes of the service map and the different fields and data available to us to determine the impact. We are now going to notify the business of this particular issue. Again, I'm going to mark that as complete. And now we have our automation in being able to fix these issues straight away. So again, these things can all be made available through the playbooks, which will utilize the likes of the integration hub. So we may want to create a service dedication. Dedication. So that will actually show on the likes of the portal 
show an announcement, show against the actual service that this service has a current issue. So that's done that automatically through a click. In addition to that, we may want to expand the disk space. So I can click on that. That's going to invoke, again, another integration to be able to automatically expand the disk space on this particular CI of Note. So that's just executing right now. And there's other options here that we can utilize. We can remove any um, log files that's not required. We can go ahead and, you know, attach the actual log to the incident as well, which has been raised, which is fantastic. But at this stage, what's going to happen is now we fixed that issue. What's going to occur is we're going to get further alerts coming into service now. But what's going to happen is this will, if I just follow the last action here, what, what this will do is this will automatically close. And actually, we can see it already. The state of this group of alerts is closed. And if I go back to our service dashboard, what we will see is our service for order status has gone back to green, which means we're all, we're all good again. Uh, we've been able to resolve that very quickly. And due to the nature of the predictive um, AI operations with the logs up front and the metrics up front, being able to find the root causes quickly, um, utilizing the data that's been coming into service now, we've been able to restore this service very fast. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you is something very, very useful, which is the Health Log Analytics uh, dashboard. So I'll just quickly switch over to that. And what this is going to show us is that real value behind the Health Log Analytics part itself. Because what this is allowing us to do is obviously be ahead of the game. So we want to reduce the amount of times that incidents are occurring. We want to reduce that mean time to repair. Um, we want to be able to automate the resolution for these things as well. So this gives you a good kind of overview in terms of, you know, the automations triggered. So how many of those alerts said you actually managed to automate the um, triggering of? Uh, and in terms of actually automation ready alerts as well. How many issues is it predicted? Um, you know, the savings. So what savings have you been able to achieve by, by predicting and preventing these critical outages? So all of this information is really good to understanding your automation journey and getting towards that mature part where you're able to go from being a, you know, a reactive service to actually being a proactive service and this point of self-healing. So that was a demonstration of the predictive AI operations. It's extremely powerful, extremely useful for IT operations to restoring services very quickly.